we're going to now take down uh, Saudara Tien. Uh, they're keeping him in the lockup area. No. While the, yeah, he's in the lockup area there. Uh, they've got lockup area on this floor. While a bail is processed, the bailer is going to be Saudari Ganpeni, yeah. the assemblyman for Rawang. Um, uh, as you saw, the charge has been read. The charge is under Section 41 of the Sedition Act. Uh, allegedly, um, because uh, uh, Saudara Tien had, um, had uh, said that there was a conspiracy by Krajan Amno, Amno yeah? uh, we are shocked by this charge, okay? Because the Sedition Act is supposed to be used against people creating disaffection against the government. Here it is about creating disaffection against Amno. So, in short, what is happening is that Amno is using the Sedition Act, using the law, using the police, using the Attorney General in order to go after political rivals. That's what's happening. Yeah? Ini jelas daripada pertuduhan AMNO menggunakan polis, peguam negara dan undang-undang untuk menyerang pembangkang. Jelas, eh? Now the law is protecting AMNO, as if AMNO is some kind of a special entity. Okay? So what the government is doing, dia letakkan AMNO lebih tinggi daripada undang-undang dan tak boleh dikritik. So it's very serious. Yang kedua, yang kedua kita kita telah pun beritahu mahkamah who's in trouble. Kita telah pun memberi tahu mahkamah bahawa uh, Perdana Menteri telah pun menyatakan umumkan Julai 11, 2012 bahawa akta hasutan akan dimansuhkan. It is, ia adalah merupakan salah secara undang-undang dan tidak sesuai untuk sesiapa lagi dituduh di bawah akta 1948 ni lagi. Maknanya Perdana Menteri telah memberitahu sesuatu yang telah menipu rakyat apabila menyatakan bahawa akta hasutan akan dimasukkan. He told a lie because now having said it's going to be repealed, he goes and charges them. That means he's not serious about it. Is he going to repeal or not repeal? That's the other thing. Dan uh, akhir sekali kita pun telah memberitahu mahkamah bahawa kita akan pada kadar segera memfailkan satu permohonan di mahkamah tinggi ini mahkamah session ya di mahkamah tinggi untuk membatalkan pertuduhan yang jahat dan tidak ma tidak masuk akal ini kerana apa kerana mensalah menyalahgunakan proses mahkamah dan juga bermotifkan politik let me be very clear okay this is a politically motivated charge by the amno barisan national government in the run up of the general election this is what it is they are a desperate government who are now have now turned nasty and are trying to use the law against oppositionists. Uh, YB Tenchoa is being questioned, I mean, it has been charged. Uh, Saudara Azmin Ali, Azmin Ali, the Deputy President of Kadilan, is being questioned under MCMC. I understand Gobin Singh is being questioned. Many of opposition leaders are being questioned. Okay, and we, we expect that they will come after more. So we call upon the government to stop it and carry out democratic elections in a proper democratic. Stop using the law against opposition. Stop trying to jail the opposition. That is the message. We will argue this all the way. We will go to the high court. We will take it to the highest court. And we will argue this before the public. Okay, against this kind of uh, abuse of power.